My name is Sherry Rite here at Salon Rite in Lake Mary, Florida. Today is a very special day for me and my staff. We have the wonderful Beth Minardi here for a great lecture to discuss three fabulous hair colors. We have a blonde, a brunette, and a redhead. Very exciting news and stay tuned. Okay. Number three, to ensure 100% gray coverage, how long should a permanent color formula be left in contact with the hair? So let's pretend we're doing somebody's roots and we've put the color on. How long should we allow that lady to stay in the salon seated with the color on her roots to make sure that she doesn't call back next week and say it looked good in the salon but it didn't cover? Number four, if you mix one ounce of permanent color with one ounce of 40 volume developer, What's the working volume of the formula? So using a denman or a round brush or, you know, any of these brushes and, even, and directing heat on that bleached hair would have had most of the hair in the brush. But when you roller set it and it was combed out and it just stayed all week, it was very pliable so bleached hair would stay like crazy. That's why in all these competitions that they have, people bleach the hair because the hair turns like you can cotton candy, you can just, you can sculpt it because it's all broken down. Looks real good when you set it. I don't know about the next day when she goes out in the wind. <laughs> or out in the humidity. But times have changed. But this whole platinum pastel blonding thing, you know, you look at Christina Aguilera, that hair is not blown out. That hair is set. It's just done. And Madonna changes the hair all the time with those amazing wigs and hair pieces and everything. <laughs> okay, Lady Gaga, that whole, that's a lot of hair. That's a lot of wigs. Okay. Um, name the levels of natural hair 1 through 10. Remember this. Levels 1 through 5 are brunette. Levels 6 through 10 are blonde. Let's do levels 1 through 5 first. The brunette levels are black, dark brown, medium brown, light brown, and level 5 is lightest brown. So the level one is black, level two is dark brown, level three is medium brown, level four is light brown, level five is lightest brown. Six through ten are the blonde. So when we look at hair, she's wonderful. First of all, the hair's in great shape. It's never been abraded. It's amazing. Even the condition down here at the shoulder is good. Usually by the time you touch this hair, you want to throw up, right? It's like nice, nice, pretty nice, not so nice, terrible. She's pretty good. I mean, there's hardly any change in the texture. She's naturally a level seven. This is natural medium blonde. Does anybody need to look at this? They don't know what medium, does anybody want to come up and, I mean, you know, you don't have to, but if you want to see it, this is natural medium blonde hair. Now, when you, do you ever have women who come in with this color and they tell you they have brown hair? I do. They say, my natural hair is brown. And you're looking and you say, no, it's not. But they think blonde is the color of that wall. They think blonde is the photograph of that young lady over there on the wall. They don't see blonde as, you know, there are people with, what's your name? Nicole. This is Nicole. She's naturally a five, maybe almost a six, lightest brown. Now, women who come in with, to me and tell me their hair is black. <laughs> right? Have you ever had a lady come and say, oh, my roots are black. You should see my hair, natural hair is black. It's not black at all. So that's very scary because if you make them a soft mid blonde and a low light, they'll say their hair is brown that you made them all brown. Okay? Any thoughts on this? I'm going to teach you how to do what we call American balayage, which is something uh, I love to do. Best is floating the highlights. This is a pretty young girl. This is not a gray coverage lady. Floating the highlights and low lights through this hair, and then around the face working tight. So I'm going to work in the back of her head like she's one person, and in the front of the hair like a different person. Everybody cool with that? Mm -hmm. um, let's also add some low lights to her hair so that she's more blonde on blonde. Now, I'm going to come back and do the premiere show in uh, June, and this is the kind of hair we're going to do there. But I might kick it up a notch for stage. <laughs> but that's a girl I'm paying, and she's not 17 years old. What I might do on stage is highlight this hair in my way, but the low light would be more dramatic because it's, it would be a 22-year-old professional model who I want to do a more d dimensional low light. Um, or I might do a soft strawberry um, and golden, which I wouldn't do on this young lady. We'll do something more natural. Do you have well a color touch? Mm -hmm. Seven one. 
eight zero an ounce with a half six thirty five. Okay. Okay. So, oops, sorry. Let's walk up the back of this head first. This is fun, isn't it? Is, are y'all having a good time? Yes. Okay. And if anybody's bored or they don't want to leave or something, you can't. <laughs> Horizontally, I'm going to do a crooked one. I'm going to do a straight one. I'm going to do a crooked one. I'm going to do a straight one. Do you see what I'm doing? Yes. Straight, crooked, straight, crooked, straight, crooked, straight, crooked, crooked, straight, you know, like this. With all these foils at opposing angles. foils at opposing angles, I create the best highlights you're ever going to see. No one will be able to recreate your work except somebody who comes to a class like this and gets it. The stater has to be stop this stuff. So when you go to a hair show and you see these models walking out with the foils all in like this, you can laugh and say, I'm better than she is. <laughs> okay. So Doug, sit on the right because I need your help on the right more than on the left. I can do the left. Oh, no. Sherry, you want to help on the left? You want to come? Or who wants to help me on the left? Oh, no. I want to keep this clean so everybody can see exactly what I'm doing. So, Doug, your most important thing is just hold the hair straight up for me. Hold okay. She's Let her, yeah, she'll hand me the foil. Cool. I don't have this luxury in the salon, but I want to show. So, everybody's right. I'm, I'm straight across, right? I'm straight horizontal. So, at the edge of the hair, I'm weaving right off the scalp. And I'm sorry for being left handed, guys. And as I said to you, God, <laughs> you can put this all down and just pick up one foil at a time. Don't make yourself. Okay. Crazy. Okay. Don't worry in the nape that every hair has to be right on the scalp. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to start painting mid, mid length. And I'm going to rather omit the root because down here uh, the highlights would not have reached the scalp. I might do a little close to the scalp, but I'm basically going to highlight the nape. And this is a kid. I want this to grow out gently. So I'm going to fold the foil closed. And clip it so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, next foil going in crooked, okay? Let's make this foil lower on the left and higher on the right. You see the part? I'm weaving up and down, up and down, up and down. Come on top of the foil, close to myself. Now, one of the lighteners I like to use is the Verilites, Joico Verilites, because there's conditioner in the bleach. It's wonderful. And um, it's a very advanced lightening system. Lighteners no longer beat the hair the way they used to. They're still alkaline. They've done a lot to buffer the studio. But do you see how you're able to, you see what this allows me to do? You know, I'm not trying to get the hair into a short foil and doing this stuff and folding it up. I'm able to press it flat. There's nothing worse. Have you seen women who have claw, they're all light by the scalp and the ends are all dull? Because the shaft didn't mix, lift as much as the root. What you want to make ensure is that you get a bright hair shaft. You don't have to care so much about here. You have to care about here. And remember, you want to infuse a little more depth close to the scalp because the low light should echo the natural hair coming out of the head. Look like a natural blonde. What you want is a hair shaft that has a shade on shade blonde in it. That's where you're going to make the money. And you can do this with reds, you can do this with browns. The money comes in dimension, it's not just single process hair color. 